Hey there, uh, this is Dr. AJ Kumar, PhD. I wanted to quickly explain the premise of the, let me make sure I'm recording with the right microphone, yes I am. I uh, wanted to explain the premise of the reading playlist. Now, um, there's not enough, there's a lot of video content on, online on YouTube um, for very basic mathematics, so basically everything up to linear algebra. And then beyond that it gets really sketchy, it's either incomplete or there's not very much or you know, uh, and so I want to, in addition to presenting that content, show you how you learn that content on your own and kind of give you a roadmap. Um, so, and it's, it's also hard if you're not in the community, you don't know which books you need to read. You don't know what ta you know, you want to learn about things. You don't know what you even need to look up. You don't know what books to buy. You don't know. And so I want to, and also reading a math textbook is really, really difficult. You don't know how to do it. it there's technique involved. And so I want to, I want to go, I, I want to have a place where not only you can learn mathematics, but learn how to learn mathematics on your own. All right. And so the agenda, these are books that I am definitely going to read on the, um, do put in the reading playlist. So Artin's Algebra already started that. Barnsley, Fractals Everywhere. Going to put that in. Um, Cover and Thomas information theory. I'm not necessarily doing um, this as part of the reading playlist. I have my I have a different information theory playlist. Um, Needham's visual complex analysis. By the way, you should buy all of these books. Um, I actually haven't. Let me put an asterisk next to visual differential geometry because it hasn't been published yet. It comes out in about a month, and so um, I might not be able to get a PDF of it, and so we might not be able to read it. We'll have to see. Um, Spivak's Calculus on Manifolds, uh, one of the greatest books of all time. Everything by Spivak is worth reading. Uh, probably will read. He has like a five volume, like you, five volume set on differential geometry. Um, as a general rule, you can't learn enough linear algebra and you can't learn enough li differential geometry. You can always learn more about those. Um, and I would go over a linear algebra book, but there's like 50 linear algebra playlists on YouTube and there are all going to be better than what I do. Um, but I will go over, like, uh, probably in my own videos, not reading out of a book, um, really advanced topics in linear algebra, like assuming you know the basics of linear algebra, here's some cool things you can do with it. You know, uh, here's how least squares regression works. Here's how, you know, you can measure use linear algebra to solve this problem. Here's how you use linear algebra to solve this problem. And here's a hint, almost every problem that's interesting involves linear algebra. That's why it's so important. Okay. Uh, here are authors to look up that I'm not going to... Maybe we'll do reading, maybe later. Um, but these guys are things uh, where um, anything they do is worth looking at. Vladimir Arnold, anything Arnold did. Um, really, a lot of the... Soviet era Russian mathematicians, they're all, most of them are great. Um, go, go look at them. Uh, Claude Shannon, anything Claude Shannon did is worth reading. Anything Gilbert Strang has done. He has uh, lectures at MIT Open Courseware. Um, anything from Gilbert Strang is, he, he has a bunch of video series on MIT Open Courseware. Uh, Norman Wildberger, he has two YouTube channels called, um, and then uh, Wild Egg Maths. These two are both excellent channels. Go watch. You should go watch all of its videos. Um, can't say enough about Norman Wildberger. He's great. Um, and then maybe, these are things maybe we'll read. Mandelbrot, Fractal Geometry of Nature, that would be a companion to Barnsley. Stillwell, Mathematics and its History, that would be a companion to Visual Complex Analysis. Maybe we'll read it, maybe we won't. Naive Lee Theory, that's an important topic. That We might go over that when we start getting to the more advanced parts of Artin. We'll have to see. And then Wildberger, Divine Proportions. Wildberger created a uh, version of trigonometry that doesn't use length, angle, sines, cosines, any of the normal... Somehow trigonometry is easier if you don't use length or angle. And he wrote that all in a book called Divine Proportions. And you can do, and it's purely algebraic, and so you can do it, you know, in a, I think you just need the field structure. You need to be able to do division. So you can do trigonometry in class.
clock arithmetic if you have a prime number of hours. So in Zmod 11, I think you can do can do um, trigonometry. I don't remember exactly. I don't quote me on that. Anyway, so that's a thing. Uh, maybe later. These are books that are really, really. I don't want to say advanced because some of the topics here, like uh, topology, basic mathematical analysis, these are elementary topics, but they're. Um, but the uh, the book is the, these are heavy duty real math textbooks. Um, Munker's topology that's actually a pretty easy book. Um, Rudin is very very difficult to read, but he is the greatest mathematics author in history, and you should read everything Rudin has ever written. He's in he's in the, one of that category of anything he does is worth reading. Um, and so th these are not at the top of the agenda, but these are things I will think about. Brazis functional analysis. Um, maybe Yoshida would be on the list as well, um, but th that's this is a long ways off. Um, I actually did with Craig Cannon do um, a podcast where we read a little bit out of Munker's Topology and a little bit out of a couple of Rudin chapters, and uh, yeah. So anyway, that that's the premise of the playlist teaching you how to teach yourself mathematics by showing you here's how you learn about this stuff. You just read. But there is a technique to reading math textbooks. Here are the textbooks that you should buy if you want to learn about X, Y, and Z. Here are the classic books. Blah, 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 blah. Here's how you orient yourself. That's the, po that's the, that's the uh, premise of the playlist. And also, you know... Um, it helps me it helps me if i ha if i have to produce videos then it forces me to read the books and if when i'm reading it out loud i tend to read it a lot more closely and notice a lot more things than if i'm reading it by myself so it helps me in that regard and uh you know these are very basic topics in math that everybody should know about so um yeah that's uh that's all i wanted to say thank you for watching uh, next video is probably going to be reading section 1.2 of Artin, so I will see you then.